deadly bacteria hidden in the food we eat. We seem to be hearing about it more often lately. Boris had deli meat, frozen waffles, and now McDonald's quarter pounders. All have made news in just the last few months. WCCO's Frankie McLister went to the experts to find out why it's happening and how to keep your family safe. E. coli and listeria. Most people are gonna get a very self-limited GI, stomach flu, um, illness. The cases reported across the country. Recently, household names like Target and McDonald's pulling items. This is a temporary change as the investigation continues. McDonald's now zeroing in on onions and beef patties used in quarter pounders in several states. And this new E. coli outbreak has caused one death in several hospitalizations, including a case in Wisconsin. One second, please. So where'd the E. coli come from? Cows are covered in poop. The world is covered in poop. I mean, it's it's uh, all about their control standards that they have. I've worked in the, in the, in the industry and I've seen uh, some of the uh, improper handling of it. And um, you never know what you're gonna get. And each time your food stops in a new place, whether it's deli meat, eggs, waffles, or burgers, there's another chance for contamination. I think all of these recent food uh, outbreaks, uh, contamination events, are a signal to us that we do need to be paying a bit more attention to testing in some of these facilities. And for fans of medium rare burgers or steak, some straight talk from this Hennepin Healthcare doc. You're eating uncooked poo. So, you know, I mean, and, and, and you know, the risk is, is low, but you never know. And it's something that you can very easily avoid. So the fix is cooking your meat completely. But in this case, the contamination likely happened uh, at the factory where the burger was made. Frankie McLister, WCCO News.